Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the Access Trader.com uh, nightly wrap up show. Hope everybody's doing good. Hope everybody's doing well, hope everybody's happy, and hopefully everybody is trading uh, properly, right? Uh, if you are brand new to the channel, guys, thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, you will see on a daily broadcast, uh, it's all unbiased, it's all based on data. I'm a very uh, data uh, kind of guy. I believe in data, I collect data, and I trade off data, not opinions, uh, not hearsay, not thoughts, uh, not guessing, all about the price action. So all we ask is, uh, you know, click like, Click like if you like the content, share, subscribe, come aboard, uh, and hopefully we will continue to give you a uh, great uh, value. So uh, before we get started, I just want to mention, I'm gonna cut this video a little bit quick. Uh, my daughter has uh, a, a basketball game, so I have to get kind of get to that, but I wanted to record a video to kind of share my thoughts. So we had uh, a really, really big run-up. We've been in a big run-up. We've been enjoying this big run-up since 2023. And going into today's session, we knew there was going to be three of six companies in the next couple of days to report that's going to really uh, have uh, you know a pretty big weight on what's going on uh, for the foreseeable future. Uh, today, we had uh, Starbucks come out, uh, AMD, Microsoft, and Google. Those are the big four. And the question going into today's trading session was, well, did these stocks enjoy the run-up and are these earnings already priced into this run-up? And, you know, there's no possible way uh, to guess uh, or at least guess correctly, uh, you know, before the price action hits after the earnings release. But we're getting that indication right now. Let's start off with, let's start off with Microsoft. Microsoft, uh, after this incredible run-up, just in the last month, uh, the stock has gone from 366 to 413. Uh, after the close right now, Microsoft, you know, down about four bucks. Here's pretty much the highlights. Uh, they beat revenue 62 billion versus 61 billion. Uh, their cloud revenue uh, was slightly better at 25.8 billion versus 25.3 billion. Operating income all looks pretty good. Again, looks like it's at least from the time I'm recording the video, it's around uh, quarter to five Eastern time. Again, I don't know when you guys are going to see this video. Uh, but around a quarter to five, it looks like for now it's baked in. Uh, obviously, by the time that the conference call can start, maybe it's up five, maybe it's down another five. But as of right now, it looks like it's baked in. Uh, the next one is Google, right? Google had an incredible, again, an in absolute incredible run up. Just again, the last month, 135 uh, to all the way up to 153. That's a really, really big move. Uh, after the close, uh, Google right now is down about $7. Again, pretty good numbers. They beat on uh, revenues uh, by about a billion. Their advertising rose, uh, so there's a slight beat on that. Their YouTube ads uh, revenue, slight beat on that. And the cloud business, slight beat on that. Again, it looks like it was baked in. And the last one, which was a AMD, right? AMD uh, looked like a, a pretty decent quarter, a uh, year over year. You had 10% rise in uh, revenues. Uh, their gaming revenues, unfortunately, took a little bit of a hit, down 17%. That's the whole uh, gaming AI, you know, uh, gamer thing. Gamer thing, right? Gamer thing, uh, the clouds, all that stuff, uh, a little bit down as well. And as you can see here from the last couple of days, they've been selling off uh, AMD. Matter of fact, if you remember uh, yesterday's video, again, we were saying watch the five day, watch the five day. AMD ahead of the five day, lost the five day, and had a pretty big move today. Went from 174 all the way down to 169. So they were definitely selling this thing, losing the five day, which, which was very, very important. The one name that actually had a pretty good quarter, and again, this is near and dear to my heart, that didn't have a run up. And that's the whole point. Uh, Starbucks did not have a, uh, have a run up uh, into earnings, and it's doing quite well uh, after hours, up about three points uh, after hours as well. The key metric going into tomorrow is kind of what we talked about, the level on the Qs. And you guys can see the Qs, that we're still sitting above that 423 level. Everybody see that, guys? This is going to be the line in the sand for tomorrow. If this is truly an isolated incident and the buyers are going to step in 
and buy the dip in tomorrow on, t on uh, Microsoft, on AMD and Google and others, well, the, the Qs are going to meet the whole 423. If we start losing 423 and lose the five-day moving average, it's the same thing as we talked about on AMD. Here's the five-day. This is the orange line. It lost it today. This is even before uh, the earnings came out. It lost the five-day moving average, and it got hit pretty hard. And that's kind of the same play going into tomorrow's session is this five-day moving average on the Qs. Guys, watch that 423 level. If the bears start building below that 423 level, yeah, then everything's going to get pulled. R remember, guys, we, we've been saying this for weeks and weeks and weeks. It wasn't like, you know, it wasn't uh, the sky is falling type of scenario. We've been saying for weeks, okay, reversals will come at any point, okay, especially in the linear market. They don't have to tap you on the shoulder and say, hey, by the way, it's about to happen. They just do it. Every linear bull market, no matter how aggressive it's been, you can go from, uh, 1999, 2000, the internet craze, the generational bottom of 2009, the COVID market, 20, you know, for, uh, 2020, 2021, and the current market that we're having now from 23 to 24, every majestic, every uh, uh, parabolic move in the, in the market eventually will come in and come in aggressively. We, we've been saying this for, for a couple of weeks. Make sure you know your levels. Like if the Qs start losing that 423 level tomorrow, you're not going to want to sit there and start buying dips. I mean, you, you already saw firsthand what happened with AMD losing uh, the five day today. This is a potential, you know, again, this is a potential and a reason for the bulls to, to really give up and have a, an incredibly aggressive move to the downside. We've seen it. We've demonstrated this time and time again, uh, all for random levels that get confirmed that cause technical damage. And a lot of people don't know they're there. And they give up. We only talked about this yesterday on the video. And they give up two, three, four weeks worth of um, performance in one candle, usually in one day. So again, guys, for all you guys who are especially invested uh, or have exposure to the NASDAQ 100, the QQQs, guys, watch that 423 level. The question is to, you know, tomorrow, well, where's the bull market going to go, right? Again, we're still in a bull market. doesn't mean the whole market has to roll over. If you look at today, you had the NASDAQ down about seven tenths of a percent, obviously getting hit after the close. But the Dow Jones Industrial Average today was up 100 points, right? And if you turn around and, and use the Jim Cramer, there's always a bull market somewhere. There actually is, right? This is a group that is not sexy anymore. It's not usually traded. It's not usually highlighted by a lot of traders anymore, uh, but it's a very important group. It's a very important group uh, in Main Street America, in Wall Street America. Just ask what happened in 2007 through 2008, and it is the banks. Tomorrow, uh, you had FOMC, Fed, Fed rate decision, and ahead of the FOMC tomorrow, the banks are breaking out. You had Morgan Stanley this morning uh, come out Pretty positive on a lot of names, on Citibank, on JP Morgan, on Goldman Sachs, on Bank of America. And look at these charts, guys. Look at Bank of America's chart. This thing is break about to break out. Look at Citibank, about to break out. Look at JP Morgan, right? This thing is breaking out. Goldman Sachs, very, very close to breaking out. So if tomorrow, if we have one of these scenarios that money is coming out of technology, and has to go somewhere, well, the, the go somewhere, especially ahead of the FOMC, could be the banking stocks on a potential day two. Obviously, tomorrow, I will be looking, if we have a lot of weakness in, in the tech space, and obviously right now, uh, we are selling off as we speak, pretty decent amount as well. Uh, I definitely want to take advantage of some channels back to the downside. And for example, one of the ones I want to take advantage is Tesla, right? So Tesla, uh, imploded into earnings. But again, we were catching this thing below the 50, below the 200-day, caught this whole move down pretty much so. It dead cat bounced today. It actually held up a little bit on the day. The key is tomorrow with Tesla. If it could start losing back the five-day moving average, then this little rally dead cat bounce into the five-day will be all for naught. And if it starts losing back the five-day and the Qs start getting hit as well, we could see a move right back to the low. So the key for the bulls tomorrow is, you know, buy this dip, right? Buy this dip, uh, you know, uh, protect that 423 level on the QQQs. For the bears, your goal is to uh, get back into control of the five day, that 423 level on the Qs and ride it down to that 424.18 level where we'll see the next uh, soft landing. As you can see here, 
uh, by the chart, right? It's actually now 421. It, it, the 10 day rose a little bit, but the point is the line is in the sand. We already know what the number is. The key is to come in tomorrow with a nice, uh, fresh, um, fresh head, no opinion. You know your levels. You know what you want to do with those levels. And the key question is now, Do is this dip going to be bought or are we going to have a finally a really good aggressive back test that we haven't seen now uh, in the last uh, probably, well, let's see, where are we right now? Uh, 2024. We haven't seen one in 2024, right? We really have not seen one in 2024. Again, is tomorrow going, going to be the day to be determined? And as the as the old adage goes, we shall see, said the blind man. We shall see. Guys, I got to cut this off a little bit short. I got I got about a 45 minute drive to my uh, my daughter's game. Have a great night, everybody. God bless. Stay healthy. And I will see you all on the field tomorrow. Take